Commander? The last transmission? Oh, 0900 hours. Since then, nothing. Perhaps Einstein escaped? Too much to hope for, General. He would have contacted us by now. This is classified. I know. I sent for her. General von Essling, she is a civilian. That's why I don't get killed. Commander, this is Tanya Adams, a professional volunteer. She will work with you on this mission. Somewhere inside this research center, the Soviets hold Albert Einstein. We need him back immediately. Get Tanya inside so she can get Einstein out. Once you have located him, bring him back to your drop-off point for immediate evacuation. Be careful. The base is heavily fortified, but not invincible. Their weakness is power. Black out the base and nothing will stop you. Good luck. Have Welcome arrived. guys to the first Allied mission in Command & Conquer Remastered Red Alert. Uh, this is actually the fourth mission we're playing. Uh, we've done three previous Soviet missions and that poor civilian on the right hand side there gets taken out by this Tesla goal. So what we're going to need to do is take out the power as the cutscene suggested. And then doing so will release the second civilian on the right hand side. And what he's going to demonstrate now is that they have lost power to their Tesla coils allowing us to move in. Tesla coils more or less equivalent to what we had. There you go, everything gets a health bar as well to further demonstrate that. we got some reinforcements here. I'm going to move all my rangers up and around. Start engaging him. Tanya's going to move to the right to help support. Deal with anyone who gets too close. And then continue working on bringing the power down. Now Tanya is a much stronger unit than the commando. Deal with the guards outside this tech center here. Releasing Einstein, who's going to move to the north here. But we're not finished in this base yet. Incoming evacuation helicopter there. More reinforcements in the form of that helicopter. Let's keep moving this way. And look at this, even more reinforcements coming in from the south. Now let's actually clear out because we've got incoming fire from the cruisers just off the shore here. Our first look at these incredibly powerful units in Remastered here. Tanya, you're gonna need to take out a few guys here. Now, don't stand too close to them because they are super powerful and also super inaccurate. Watch out, this guy here, Phil. Oh, it's our old friend, Phil. Looks like the cruisers held a grudge against GDI Mission 8B, given that a lot of their fire is straying dangerously close to him. Let's uh, go and assist while we can. Or oh, maybe we shouldn't, actually. <laughs> we'll let the cruisers finish off. Oh, no. Right, enemy base destroyed. It's time to leave. Let's move. Tanya, get up here. Yes, sir. These guys, they can get ready to head back down the road they came from. Is it just one man manning both the driver's seat and the MG? I guess it is. Right, Tanya, and you get Einstein, follow her in afterwards. It's time to leave. And there we go then. First Allied mission completed, just like that. Much like the Soviet intro, piece of cake. Mission accomplished. So Einstein back in Allied hands now. All the effort you put into trying preventing World War II by removing Hitler from history has ended up creating a much larger conflict in the form of Allies versus Soviets. Now anyway, as I've explained in both the intro video and in Soviet 1, I'm going to be going through these missions in the chronological order I came up with last year by combining the two campaigns. Uh, what that means is I'll be mostly alternating between the two, uh, with the Soviet campaign advancing a little bit faster. The two campaigns reference events in the other storylines, so I've always looked at it like they're, can they're both canon up to a point, at which point they diverge and you get the two very different endings where one in the Allies win and the other the Soviets win. So I'm going to mix and match up to that point and then I'll probably just stick to the Allied missions to finish it out and then I'll go back and do the Soviet missions at the end just to see what could have been. 
Only two casualties there, one of which was unavoidable, that intro civilian running into the Tesla coil just to demonstrate the incredible power of that unit, or that structure I should say. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm switching back over to the Soviet campaign now for Soviet Mission 3, and I hope you join me then.